Hey guys, Luke back with another all-in-one guide video. This one's going to be for all shield locations in the game. That means you can use this video to get every shield the game has to offer. If you find videos like this helpful, leave me a like and consider subscribing for more guide and PvP content to come. And I also have videos just like this for talismans, armors, and weapons, and some other things. And if I don't have them yet, they'll be coming soon, so stay tuned. If you like the Albanoric Shield, you can head over to the Academy Gate Town Grace in Lyernia of the Lakes. And then from here, we're just going to make our way sort of northwest. Over there, you'll see several Albanorics. Each one wields the shield we're trying to farm. So all you have to do is kill these guys over and over again until you get the shield. And he didn't drop it. And that guy did drop it. So you can see it right there, the Albanoric shield. Just kill these guys. And if they don't drop it, go reset at the grace and head back. If you'd like the Ant Skullplate shield, you can head over to the Noxtella Eternal City Grace. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way up. And the shield is not too far off. It's actually just right here around the corner. There's only one enemy you have to kill. And the shield will be right here. If you'd like the Banished Knight Shield, a good place to farm it would be over here in Kaelid at the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion. Outside of this cathedral, there is a banished knight right there who patrols around the area. You can kill him and then just re rest at the grace and then respawn him and kill him again. And he has a chance to drop the shield we're looking for. You can see it right there in his hand. And you can see it, the second item, the banished, banished knight's shield. And that is how you get that one. If you'd like the beast crest heater shield, you can head over to the war master shack in Limgrave. And once you're here, you're going to make your way towards the Saints Bridge over this way. And then in the middle where that marker is, you'll find the shield and a chest inside the camp. Sort of just right on the other side of this large square thing. Right here. And that's how you get the Beast Crest Heater Shield. If you'd like the Beast Man's Jar Shield, you'll head over to the Crumbling Beast Grave Depths Grace in Crumbling Barum Azula. And once you're here, you're going to make your way through. And you can see him right there wielding the shield. We're going to go ahead and kill this guy, and he has a chance to drop it. If he doesn't drop it, you can just reset. And kill him again. This one doesn't drop it because he doesn't wield the shield. And that is how you get the Beast Man's Jar Shield. If you'd like the Black Leather Shield, you can head over to the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. And this is in Caria Manor. Right after you defeat the Royal Knight Loretta boss fight. And then you can head out the door and make your way down to where I am now. And there's going to be a little ledge you can drop down onto right here. And there's going to be a vendor down here named Pitya. And he will sell the shield to us. There is a chance that he could be dead for you, and if he does die, you can always pick up his bell bearing and take it to the Twin Maidens in the Round Table Hold, and they will sell it to you there. And there's the shield, and also you can get a larval tier here, tier here as well. If you'd like the Blue Crest Heater Shield, you'll head up to the Bellum Church on the northern part of Liernia of the Lakes. And then once you're here, you're going to make your way through the hole in the wall right here. And then along this path, you'll find a merchant and he will sell you the shield that we're looking for. Ooh, I don't want him. 
and you can find it right here. If you'd like the blue white wooden shield, you'll head over to the South Rea Lucaria Gate in Liernia of the Lakes. And then you're going to make your way down, down to this marker here, and then that's where you'll find the shield. And there it is. Actually, it's not that marker. It's this one right here. I forgot to get the blue wooden white shield. If you'd like the blue gold kite shield, you can head over to Fort Hyatt West on the eastern side of Limgrave. And then from this grace, we're going to make our way up to this merchant right here. And he will sell you the shield that you're looking for. And here it is, the blue gold kite shield. If you'd like the brass shield, an easy place that you can farm it pretty early on in the game is at the gate front grace. Right here. And then you'll turn around and in this encampment of soldiers, you'll see the guys with the brass shield walking around. There's one there and one there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill this guy. And you can see the shield in his hand and he has a chance to drop it. And there it is, the second item, and that is how you get the Brass Shield. If you'd like the Briar Great Shield, you'll need to kill Elamore the Briar in the Shaded Castle. Up here in the Mount Gelmer slash Altus Plateau area. And then once you're here, we're just going to head up through the castle. Yep, this way. Careful of all the ambush enemies. And at the end of this hallway will be the boss door. We're going to go in there and try to kill him. Hopefully we do kill him. Once you slay him, he should drop you the Briar Great Shield along with his sword. If you'd like the buckler, you'll need to head over to the Stormvale main gate and begin Gatekeeper Gastok's quest line. And eventually you will make oh, your way through Stormvale Castle until you get to the point where you're at Godric the Grafted. And after you kill him, Gastok will show up kicking his head, and then you can buy the buckler from him there. Alternatively, you can do what I'm going to do and just straight up kill him. If you do this, it does lock you out of his ancient dragon smithing stone he sells, so just do know that. But you can pick up his bell bearing and then take it to the round table hold. And once you're at the round table hold, you'll make your way over to the left side and back at the maidens. You can hand them the bell bearing and then they will sell you. Let me see here, where's he at? And then they will sell you the buckler. If you'd like the Candle Tree Wooden Shield, you'll head over to the Sage's Cave. And this is in the Altus Plateau area, just after you head up the Abandoned Coffin. You can make your way up the watery area over to the cave entrance here. And then once you're in the cave, we're going to make our way through. There's going to be several illusionary walls and respawning enemies that respawn once you kill them. There 
There will be a wall here with several enemies like so. And the shield should be in this one, if I remember correctly. And there it is. That's the Candle Tree Wooden Shield. That's how you get it. If you'd like the Carrion Knight Shield, you can head over to the Debate Parlor Grace in the Rhea Lucaria Academy. This is right after you defeat the Red Wolf Radagon. And then you'll head out into the main courtyard and make your way up towards Renala. There are going to be several balls coming at you. Stand a little further back than I was standing and you won't get hit by that one. And then up ahead, this guy right here will drop the shield. Be warned, he's a parry god and will parry you. So be careful with that. But once he's dead, he should drop the shield we're looking for. If you'd like the coiled shield, you'll head up to the 9th Mount Galmer campsite in Mount Galmer. And then from this grace, you're just going to make your way up to the Volcano Cave, and inside of the Volcano Cave will find the coiled shield. Once you drop down right here, just turn around and head through here. And then the coiled shield will actually just be right here to the left. And that's how you get the coiled shield. If you'd like the crossed tree tower shield, you can head over to the forest spanning great bridge grace in Altus Plateau. And then right nearby, there's going to be a merchant, and he will sell you the shield you're looking for, for 3,800 runes. If you'd like the Crucible Horn Shield, you can head to the Aqueduct Facing Cliffs Grace. And this is in the Siafa River. But once you're here, you're going to make your way through. Down to where the Crucible Knight is down here, and he has a chance to drop it. You can see him right there walking along the bridge. I'm just going to wait for him to turn around so I can get some free hits in on him. And let's go check his body and see if he dropped it. Oh, he just dropped it. Alright, cool. If you'd like the Kaku Great Shield, you can head over to the Bellum Church Grace in the northern part of Liernia. And then once you're here, we're just going to head back out towards the merchant. And past the merchant, we'll find a Kaku Knight, and then he has a chance to drop it. So you're going to have to kill this guy probably multiple times before you get the shield. And you can see him right down there. And you can see he did drop it over there, the Kaku Great Shield, and he also drops the rest of those items as well. 
If you'd like the Distinguished Great Shield, you can head up to the Hermit Merchant Shack here in the Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, there's a merchant just right nearby, and he will sell you the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the Dragon Tower Shield, you can head over to the Dragon Temple Rooftop Grace in the Crumbling Ferrum Azula. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way down towards the large red dragon that shoots lightning at you. He's not going to be there for me because I've already killed him to get his ancient dragon smithing stone he drops. Careful of the birds along the path here, they're quite dangerous. As you can see, they're very fast. And up ahead, there's going to be a spot we can drop down on. Around the corner, there's going to be a Banished Knight, and then we're just going to run past them to get to the ladder. And then the chest right over here will have the shield we're looking for. If you'd like the Dragon Claw Shield, you can head over to where I am now, just outside the royal capital of Landell. To get this shield, you'll just need to defeat the Draconic Tree Sentinel right here, blocking your path from entering the city, and he will drop his shield along with his weapon. That's how you get the Dragon Claw Shield. If you'd like the Eclipse Crest Great Shield, you can head up to the Black Knife Catacombs in the northern part of Liurnia. And then once you're up at this catacomb, just outside there's going to be a knight that wields the shield you're trying to farm. Killing him, he has a chance to drop it along with his armor set. And you can easily just rest at the grace and kill him over and over again until you get the item you're looking for. And you can see it right there, the Eclipse Crest Great Shield. If you'd like the Eclipse Crest Heater Shield, you can head over to the Church of Pilgrimage on the northern part of the Weeping Peninsula. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way straight this way. And then there's going to be a ledge we can drop down onto. And there will be a shield on that ledge. And that shield is the Eclipse Crest Heater Shield. You can go ahead and drop down right here, and then drop down once more, down onto this. And the shield will be sitting right here. If you'd like the Erd Tree Great Shield, you can head over to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. Alternatively, you can come from the Altus Highway Junction. But we need to go up through here, and then right around here there's going to be two Tree Sentinel enemies, and we're going to have to kill both of them to get the Erd Tree Great Shield. I'm coming from this side because if you do this, you can pull one at a time and it makes it a little bit easier. And you can see them both right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. There's one of them. The other one's right there. That's how you get the Earth Tree Great Shield. If you'd like to get yourself the Fingerprint Stone Shield, you'll first need to defeat Moog the Omen in the Cathedral of the Forsaken. If you don't know how to get down here, in my Frenzied Flame questline video, I do a full walkthrough of how to get down here from the capital. But once you're down here and you have the boss defeated, you can just hit this here and that will lower a secret passage. And it says, sealed by Margot the Grace Given. So I'm gonna go kill Margot and I'll meet you right back. And now that I've killed Margot and broken the seal, I can make my way through. Gonna go ahead and drop down two times. Now I need to jump over to my left here, over to there. Then I'm going to turn around and do a back step. Then just walk off. And then do the same thing right here. And then make your way around the corner down here and you will find the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the Flame Crest Wooden Shield, you'll head over to the Ailing Village Outskirts Grace. Alternatively, you can come from the south of the Lookout Tower and make your way over to the bridge. And there will be a Spirit Spring somewhere down in here that you can use to jump up here. But once you're here, you'll just make your way into the Ailing Village. And you'll see this bonfire right here and then this building here. Inside of this building will be the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the Gilded Great Shield, you can head over to the gate front, just right where you begin the game. And there's going to be a knight that wields the shield we're looking for. It's not this one. It's this guy right here, the one with a spear and the feather thing on his head. You can see the shield in his hands. He has a chance to drop it. You can see it right there, the second item, the Gilded Great Shield. If he doesn't drop it, you can just run back to the Grace, reset, and try again. If you'd like the Gilded Iron Shield, you can head over to the Church of Pilgrimage, and this is on the northern tip of the Weeping Peninsula. And actually just outside of the church in the graveyard, you'll find the shield on a corpse, so let's go grab it. I believe it's this one here. Yep, and that's how you get the Gilded Iron Shield. If you'd like the Golden Beast Crest Shield, you can head up to the Four Belfries Towers here in the Liurnia of the Lakes region. And once you're at the top, there will be a chest near the Grace, just right over here that has an imbued stone sword key and we're gonna take this key over to this tower right here. We're gonna use the stone sword key on this pedestal and this will open up a teleporter that takes us back to the first place we spawned in at the game and fight the tutorial boss again. And this time we're gonna kill him and he will go ahead and drop us the Golden Beast Crest Shield along with his weapons. And 
that's how you get the Golden Beast Crest Shield. If you'd like to farm the Golden Great Shield, you can head over to the Artist Shack on the eastern side of Liurnia. And once you're here, there's going to be a knight that roams along the road nearby. And you can just kill this guy multiple times until you get the item that you're looking for. And that's how you get the Golden Great Shield. If you'd like the Great Turtle Shell, you'll head down to the Castle Morn Rampart Grace and Weeping Peninsula. And then once you're here, there's going to be a Spirit Spring nearby. And you can see this tower up above me. We're going to try to jump up into that tower. And inside of that tower will be the Great Turtle Shell. So let's go ahead and try to jump. And it should just be sitting right here. If you'd like to farm the Halig Tree Crest Great Shield, you can head to the Drainage Channel Grace. And this is in the Halig Tree area. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way out the door. And we need to kill a, a knight that has the Great Shield equipped. And this guy only has a chance to drop it. So you'll have to kill him multiple times, most likely. And you can see him right there sitting down underneath of us. This guy has a chance to drop it, so I'm going to jump down and kill him, and hopefully he does drop it for us. And he did drop it, you can see it there, the Halig Tree Crest Great Shield. And that's how you get it. If you'd like the Hawk Crest Wooden Shield, you'll head over to the Rampart Tower. And this is in Stormvale Castle. And once you're here, you'll need to bring a Stone Sword Key with you. And then head this way. We're going to jump right here. And then immediately just drop down right underneath you. Once you get out to this little bridge type thing here, you're just going to jump over. Stick your stone sword key into this. And you should find the shield in this room. There's going to be a couple enemies. And there's the miser cord and the shield should be sitting right here. If you'd like the heater shield, all you need to do is head to the round table hold, the NPC hub where you upgrade your items and stuff. And on the left side, towards the back, you'll find the twin maiden husks and they will sell you the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the horse crest wooden shield, you'll head over to the Murkwater cave. And what we need to do is turn patches, the NPC, into a vendor. So once you're in this cave, we're going to make our way through. Now this NPC has some weird location issues. So if you've already been to the Volcano Manor and done stuff up there, Patches is going to move from this cave and move up to the Volcano Manor. If you haven't been there yet, then he will stay in this cave and be a vendor inside this cave. So once you open that chest, Patches will appear from up above. Just gonna keep hitting him. And then he will surrender about at about 50% health. And then once he's done talking, eventually he will tell you to come back later. Alright, and he said, come back next time and I'll sell you some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and reload the area.
And if you haven't been to Volcano Manor, he won't be here, or he'll be here still, and you can purchase the shield from him now. Well, nice all a bit added. Well, you won't need a refund. And you can see it right here, the horse crest wooden shield. Cheers for that. And if you have been to the Volcano Manor, all you need to do is head up to the, let's find the proper grace, the Volcano Manor grace, the main entrance where you see Tanith and all the other NPCs over that way. And then you can run back this direction and inside of this room you'll find him sitting right here. Crouched just like this. If you'd like the Ice Crest Shield, you can head over to the main Caria Manor gate in the northern part of Liurnia of the Lakes. And then once you're here, you're just going to travel through to the back, and then behind a pillar somewhere back here where this marker is, we'll find the shield we're looking for. Careful of the large hands. And just back here behind the pillar, right here, you'll find the Ice Crest Shield. If you'd like the Icon Shield, you can head to where I am now on the Altus Plateau. And then up in this little ruins right here, not near the Erd Tree, you'll find the Icon Shield. It's going to be guarded by several enemies, so you're just going to have to grab it and get out or kill them but it'll be sitting right here. If you'd like the inverted hawk heater shield, you'll head to the Siafra River Bank Grace, and this is in the Siafra River. If you don't know how to get down here, you can head over to the Mist Woods, and there's gonna be a little building right here by this big tree, and you can go down that. There's a large elevator ride, and eventually you'll reach this location. But from the Grace, we're just gonna head up this way. up and around here and we will find the shield we're looking for up at the top of this little hill right here if you'd like the inverted hawk tower shield you can head to the nocron eternal city grace and this is after you have defeated starsker dradon and opened up the large massive hole that opens up after you kill him and you can head down that hole and eventually you will reach the area that I'm in now there's several enemies throughout this area that wield the shield we're trying to farm I believe one of them's right here under the gazebo yep there's one of them there's another one that wields the shield right there there's one back here behind this rubble right there and several others throughout the area all you have to do is kill these guys and they have a chance to drop it if you'd like to get yourself the iron shield you can head over to the western coast of Limgrave just by the first step where you spawn in and then right about here there's going to be a large piece of structure and underneath that structure is going to be a merchant and we're going to talk to him and he's going to sell the shield we're looking for. And there it is. If you'd like the jellyfish shield, you can head up to the foot of the four belfries on the western side of Liernia of the Lakes. And then once you're here, you're just going to make your way up the road and you can see him over there, some angry jellyfish. Right by those jellyfish will be the jellyfish shield. And you can just sort of swoop in and grab it. It's the item that's purple. And that's how you get the jellyfish shield. If you'd like the kite shield, you can head over to the Liernia Lakeshore Grace on the southern part of Liernia of the Lakes. And once you're here, there's going to be a nomadic merchant just sitting right over here. And we're going to talk to him and you can buy the shield from him directly. I'm surprised you. No matter. Why don't you? Oh, don't ask me. Thank you. 
If you'd like the large leather shield, you can head over to the Church of Ella, just right where you begin the game. And this merchant kale right here is going to go ahead and sell you the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the Lord Sworn Shield, you can head over to the gate front, Grace, and this is just right where you begin the game. And then right nearby the Grace, this guy right here will have the shield in his hand and he has a chance to drop it, so we'll go ahead and kill him. And you can see it over there to the right, the Lord Sworn Shield. If he didn't drop it, you can just go back and rest at the Grace again and head back and kill him again over and over till he drops it. If you'd like the Man Serpent Shield, a good place to farm it would be over at the Guest Hall Grace and Mount Gelmer. And the enemy we need to farm is actually right nearby this Grace. We're just going to head out the door here. And then over here, there will be a Man Serpent patrolling right there. And we're going to go ahead and kill this guy, and he's going to drop us exactly what we're looking for. And that's how you get the Man Serpent Shield. If you'd like the Manor Tower Shield, you'll head over to the Secluded Cell Grace in Stormvale Castle. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way out towards this Teardrop Scarab. Make a right and turn around, and we're going to go ahead and jump up on a ledge up here. And then we're going to jump to the window. Just like that. Turn right and head through this doorway. Inside of this room you'll find the shield along with a bunch of common enemies. And the shield will just be right here. If you'd like the Marred Leather Shield, this one's super easy to get. All you need to do is head to the Stormvale Cliff side. This is the side path that Gastok sends you down when you first get to Stormvale Castle. And then just right up here, before you ever fight any enemies, there will be an item, and that is the Marred Leather Shield. If you'd like the Marred Wooden Shield, you'll head over to the Rampart Tower Grace in Stormvale Castle. And then once you're in here, you'll make your way out the door. This is the area with the birds. So be ready for those guys. And once you have them defeated, you're going to jump right over this. Just sort of walk off. And then down onto this. And then right over here, you can see it from here, is the Marred Shield. It's sitting right here on this corpse. If you'd like the One-Eyed Shield, one of my personal favorites, you can head to the Giant's Grave Post Grace in the mountaintops of the Giants. And then once you're here, we're going to head across the chain into this garrison. And inside of that garrison, we'll find an enemy we need to kill. And that enemy has a chance, well it doesn't have a chance, it's a guaranteed chance to drop the one-eyed shield. Go ahead and jump right here. The enemy we need to kill is actually just right up around the corner here, but I'm uh, gonna kill the dogs to my left first because they will run out and ambush you. 
Whoops. Probably get my sword out. And here's the guy that drops the shield. You can see that he has it in his hands. Seems pretty magic resistant. Once he's dead, you should drop it. If you'd like to farm the Perfumer Shield, you need to head up to the Shaded Castle Inner Gate Grace. And this is in between the Altus Plateau and Mount Gelmer. And then once you're at this grace, you'll just turn around and head out back to the poison area down here. I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. That way he doesn't stop us from running up the ladder once we get over there. And once you get up the ladder, there will be two perfumers to our left. And you can go ahead and kill them, and they have a chance to drop the shield. And as you can see, he didn't drop it there, so we'll check this one. And he did drop it. It's the third item from the bottom. And if you want another one to kill before you reset and try again, there's one over here as well. And he dropped it too. So go ahead and reset after you kill these three and come back and do it again until you get the shield you want. If you'd like the Pylory Shield, you'll head over to the Goal Cave in Kaelid. And to get here, all you need to do is head from the Astray from Kaelid Highway North Grace and just make your way over to this rot swamp area. There will be a fog wall, imp door. You'll need two stone sword keys and that will get, give you access to the cave that I'm sitting in now. And then once you're inside, you can just start making your way through the cave. We need to make our way to a lever and open up some jail cells. And in one of the jail cells, we'll find the pylory shield. Up ahead, the floor will break and we'll fall down through right here. And the lever we need to pull is actually just right up there. You can see it. And once you pull the lever, we're just going to hop immediately down. And then to our left will be a door with some guys. I didn't think that the explosion was going to be that big. But all right, we're going to head our way in. We'll go ahead and I guess they're probably resisting the fire. Huh? Let's just run back and grab the shield, which will actually just be sitting right here against the wall. If you'd like the Red Crest Shield, you can head up to the Forest Spanning Great Bridge Grace. And this is in the Altus Plateau. And just nearby, there's going to be a merchant right here. And he will sell you the shield for 2,500 runes. If you'd like the Red Thorn Round Shield, you'll head over to the Castle Morn Rampart Grace on the Weeping Peninsula. And once you're here, there'll be a merchant just right by the grace, and he will sell you the red thorned round shield. 
If you'd like the red main great shield, you can head over to the impassable great bridge grace here in the southern part of Kaelid. And then once you're at this grace, we're going to mount up and hug the cliffside. And then you can see the knight right over there. We're going to need to kill this guy and he has a chance to drop the shield we're looking for. And it is just a chance, so you may need to kill him multiple times, just so you know. And that is how you get the red main great shield. If you like the rickety shield, a good place to farm the shield is over here at the Weeping Peninsula at the south of the Lookout Tower Grace. And actually just right nearby this grace is a pack of demi-humans right over there to the north. And there are four of them that wield the shield, so just killing any of these guys will eventually net you the shield. It has a chance to drop. I have no idea what killed them. I think it was the crossbow guy in the tower, but we'll go ahead and kill him. And I have my drop rates turned up, so you will see the shield. And you can see it right there, the second item, it's the rickety shield. They also drop the falchion if you're looking for that. And that is how you get the rickety shield pretty easily. If you'd like the rift shield, you can head up to the Bellum Church on the northern part of Liernia of the Lakes. And then once you're here, you're just going to make your way down through the broken hole in the wall. And there will be a merchant along the line here. And he'll sell you the ripped shield for 1,800 runes. If you'd like the riveted wooden shield, you'll head over to the Fort Height West Grace in Eastern Lindgrave. And then once you're here, we're just going to make our way up to the merchant. And there's going to be a merchant to the north that sells the shield to us. And you can see the smoke from his fire. It's right here. And you can purchase it from him for 600 runes. If you'd like the round shield, you can head down to the Castlemorn Rampart Grace, and this is in the Weeping Peninsula. And then just right nearby the Grace will be a merchant, and you can open up his inventory and he will sell you the shield you're looking for. If you'd like the Scorpion Kite Shield, you can head up to the Forest Spanning Great Bridge Grace, and this is in the Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, there'll be a merchant sitting right nearby and he will sell you the shield you're looking for for 2,000 runes. If you'd like the scripture wooden shield, you'll head over to the Oriza Hero's Grave in Altus Plateau, near the capital of Landell. To get here, all you have to do is head over to the Capital Rampart Bridge and make your way around. There's a spirit spring right here, and you can head down and then make your way down into the grave where I'm at now. And you'll need to farm this off of two skeletons that are in the beginning of this dungeon. It's not a 100% drop chance, so you may need to kill them multiple times. But make your way down to this opening here, and that will cause some skeletons to start spawning over there. And then they'll get killed, and then run over. Finish them off, and then loot them. And you can see it right there under the scimitar, the scripture wooden shield. And that is how you farm that. You can just run back up to the grace and reset it. If you'd like the Shield of the Guilty, you can head over to the south of the Lookout Tower Grace, and this is in the Weeping Peninsula. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way down over to this area here where there's a bunch of demi-humans. And over in there is going to be a place where we can jump over a wall and go down into a cellar, and in that cellar we'll find the shield we're looking for. I 
I believe it's in one of these buildings. Let's look for it. Maybe right here. There it is. Yep. So we got to make our way into here somehow. Let's see if I can't get the jump with all these enemies hitting me. There it is. And that was just right before the big demi-human area. And then down in here, we should find the shield that we're looking for. If you'd like the silver mirror shield, you'll need to head up to the apostate dialect here in the consecrated snow field. On your way up to this place, there's going to be a walking mausoleum that fires large magical projectiles that do a lot of damage. To get them to stop, all you need to do is break all of the crystals on the mausoleum's feet and have it sit down and then it will no longer shoot at you. And then once you enter the church, where I am now, the silver mirror shield is actually just going to be sitting right over here. If you'd like the Smoldering Shield, you can head over to the Prison Town Church Grace in Mount Gelmer. And once you're here, all you have to do is head straight out the door. And then you can just run over here and then drop down right here. Jump over the dog and then head over this way and then sort of walk off right here. Turn around, head this way, make your way along the lava, and right here behind this big pot guy will be the shield that you're looking for. If you like the spiked palisade shield, you'll need to head over to the deep Siafra well in Kalid. If you don't know how to get over to this grace, you'll need to first go through the Siafra river bank all the way up through here and bring two stone sword keys with you and then you'll head up this elevator right here and that will bring you to here and then once you're here you're going to make your way this way and there's going to be a golem up ahead and underneath of him we'll find the shield we're looking for That's how you get the spiked palisade shield. If you'd like the spiral horn shield, you'll head over to the mausoleum compound in Lyurnia of the Lakes. And then once you're here, we're just going to head sort of south. Past the walking mausoleum. And we're going to make our way over to this little mountain hill here. And just right here, we'll find the shield on this corpse. Right here. If you'd like to farm the Sun Realm shield, you'll head up to the Hermit Merchant Shack Grace in Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, just right nearby the Grace, and I'm talking right on top of it, a skeleton will crawl out of the ground. The one on the left is the one that drops the shield. This guy right here, you can see him wielding it. And then once you slay him, he has a chance to drop it. It's not guaranteed, so it may take multiple kills. And there it is, the Sun Realm Shield. And if you don't get it, you can just reset it to Grace right here. If you'd like the Twin Bird Kite Shield, you can head up to the Hermit Merchant Shack. And then you'll rest at the Grace and make it Nightfall. And then head up towards the big tree. And there's going to be a nightfall only boss that spawns called a death bird. We're going to kill that bird and that bird is going to drop us the shield that we're looking for.
once he's dead, he should drop the shield we're looking for. If you'd like the Visage Shield, you can head over to the Kalem Ruins Grace here in Kalid. And then once you're here, we're just going to make our way down. And then right over here is going to be a spot where we can go underground. And then we'll have to kill two pumpkin head enemies. And then once they're dead, you can open this door right here. And in this room, in this chest, you'll find the Visage Shield. If you'd like the Wooden Great Shield, you can head to the Liftside Chamber Grace in the Stormvale Castle area. And then once you're at this grace, we're just going to run out the door. And where that enemy is near my head right now is where you'll find the shield. And you'll find it sitting right here on this corpse. And that brings me to the end of my all shield locations video. If you found this video helpful, leave me a like and consider subscribing for more guide and PvP content to come.